Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm extremely excited to go over this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler four-door. You guessed it, it's the Rubicon X package. And the reason I'm so excited to go over this Jeep Wrangler today is because I believe it checks all the boxes for the viewers on the channel. It checks all the boxes for the Jeep Wrangler enthusiasts out there. And this is definitely the one that you want to get um, if you want all the new stuff on the 2024 mid-model refresh Jeep Wrangler. And uh, this one is in Anvil clear coat. That is the color that is taken over for Sting Gray. And if you like the video, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash summit auto. Click the bell notifications. You'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and specifically Jeep Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube. Over 8,000 videos and almost 500 Wrangler videos. Let's get right into this. I'm gonna go over everything that this thing has. Um, starting with the front bumper here, you get the metal bumper on the 24Y Rubicon X package. So this is all steel bumpers right here. The other thing is that this one has the optional 8,000 pound worn winch from the factory. So this one just got off the truck and it came with this worn winch on there. It's an 8,000 pound winch and it does have the synthetic rope. It also comes with a winch controller, which is in the back, which I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, classic Rubicon, you get the red toe hooks on here. This one has the optional satin black finished grill, the updated grill on here as well. Uh, basically what they did is it's kind of an optical illusion. Uh, they just made the color part narrower um, and then they've added this black plastic piece on the bottom. I believe that the actual slots are a little bit narrower as well, but um, that's what they did. The other new thing for the 2024 Jeep Wrangler is that these LED lights are gonna become standard on all the trim levels besides the Sport and the Sport S. It is gonna be an option on the Sport S but on all the trim levels, LED headlamps, running lights, and fog lights are gonna be standard on every trim level. So the Rubicon X also gives you the color match fenders and the color matched hard top, which those are pretty expensive options uh, to consider when we're looking at the Rubicon X package as a whole is a $12,500 option. You also get the suspension increase on here um, I've heard anywhere from a one inch to a one and a half inch lift. I do know that these sway bar links are about an inch bigger and the springs are about an inch bigger, but you also get the LT31570 R18, or I'm sorry, 70 R17 tires. Um, these are BF Goodrich all-terrain TA KO2s, same tires that came on the extreme 35 inch tire and wheel group. And you also get these 17 inch uh, beadlock capable wheels. New for 2024 are these center caps. They used to say the word Jeep. Now they just have the logo of the Jeep on there. Here's a good look at that tread pattern on those tires. Um, so when I was looking at these on Jeep's website, standard for the Rubicon X, you get a smaller tire. Um, and then if you wanted the 456 gears, you had to take this tire, or if you take these tires with the uh, LT315s, you get the 456 gears. So this one does have the 456 gears, and when we look at the original window sticker, it's not gonna say anything about that, but when you get these big tires and wheels, uh, these big tires specifically, uh, you're gonna get the 456 gears. You also get the fender extension, uh, on there and that's to accommodate for the wider tires so that you're all legal like in all the states. The other new thing for 2024 is going to be the trail rated badge on the passenger side. They never had a trail rated badge on the passenger side and that is because this is where the antenna used to be and obviously there's no antenna there anymore and the antenna is in the windshield which is new for 2024. Also, these windshields are now all the Corning Gorilla Glass, uh, which is uh, supposed to be stronger because of the angle of the windshield. On the Wranglers, they're more prone to rock chips and everything, so 
That's why they did the Gorilla Glass. You also have same on the 2024s are the doors, how you take those off with the T50 Torx wrench. Uh, we did a video on how to take your doors off on your JL Wrangler. That still applies to the 2024 model. You get the rock rails on there just like you would any other Rubicon. Uh, let's take a quick look at the original window sticker. And I know you probably saw the uh, power seat there. That is the newest uh, upgrade on the 2024 that everybody is dying to see. So anyways, you get the Anvil clear coat, black interior, the Napa leather seats. I'm going to go over those because they're kind of special. This one has a 3.6 liter V6 engine with the eight speed automatic transmission. And that's going to get you 285 horsepower, 260 foot pounds of torque. And you can see everything here is your standard equipment. One other new thing for 2024 is this Dana M220 wide full floating reaxle. It never was a full floating. And what that does essentially is it increases your towing capacity to 5,000 pounds. So that's the big thing and that's new for 2024 as well. Anvil clear coat is 595. Customer preferred package 24Y is the $12,500 option. Now, I do not know what the other Rubicon X package would be uh, to get the smaller tires. I was not able to find that information out before the video, so I do apologize. If you know, let me know in the comments below. This one has the Rubicon X package, the Napa leather seats, the driver and passenger four-way lumbar adjust and eight-way power uh, adjust seats so that's with the rubicon x heated front seats heated steering wheel alpine premium sound connected trail and traffic services you connect five with a 12.3 touchscreen radio seven by eight inch machine wheels with black pockets body color rubicon highline flares or the fender flares uh, the lt315 tires are part of this package the body color three-piece hard hard top Four to one rock track, heavy duty full time four wheel drive system, blind spot and cross path detection, remote start, automatic high beams, park sense, integrated off road front camera, rear window defrost, rear window wiper washer, hard top headliner by Mopar, no soft top, freedom panel storage bags, steel front and rear bumpers, and the hinge gate reinforcement by Mopar. All part of that $12,500 package and what they don't say on here is that this one does have the 456 gears i pulled up the build sheet on this particular wrangler and uh, maybe i'll insert that into the video but um yeah it does have the 456 gears and i think once you get those 315 70r17 tires it automatically is going to give you those 456 gears also to note you can get the 488 gears with a 995 dollar option um, so you could add the 488 gears if you're really doing some extreme climbing with your Wrangler um, to this package, but you would have to have the 315 uh, tires on there. Eight-speed automatic transmission is a $4,500 option. Uh, cold air intake by Mopar is 525. The doors off kit by Mopar is 195. I think that's new for 2024 as well. Maybe it was around in 2023 but you can get the uh, mirrors basically that go on the door hinges. I believe that's how they work. We're gonna try and do a video on that as well, um, but that's $195 and that comes with the vehicle on this one. Performance satin black grill, 325 and the worn winch is a $1,995 option. Total MSRP on this one is $71,825. Uh, to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives, check out the upper right hand part of the screen or in the description below, it's all linked. Three year 36 bumper to bumper and five year 60 powertrain on there. There are your miles per gallon. Now I think these are probably a little bit more accurate uh, with the bigger tires and everything than like say the high tides uh, were. Um, did a video on that anyways, uh, 17 average. And it's not really rated for any safety ratings quite yet, except three-star rollover. And there is the power seat that is brand new for 2024. First Wranglers with uh, power seats in them that I can recall. Uh, and they seem to work really nice. And like I said, I'm going to get into that leather in just a second when we get over to the driver's side. Uh, back fender flares are extended as well. 
You get the upgraded brakes on here to accommodate for those bigger tires as well. Uh, you get the mirror extensions because you have this lift gate or this uh, swing gate reinforcement and you have the wider tires so they had to extend these out. These extensions have Ralph, the dog on there. And then on the left side you get Louie and uh, like I always say, he's a bulldog. Anyways, that's for left, Louis for left, Ralph for right. LED tail lamps as well, get a good look. And then they had to extend this uh, backup camera out just a little bit. This one does have the receiver hitch, so I'm guessing that's standard on the Rubicon X package as well. You get the seven pin and the four pin wiring, remember, with that full flow. Also, these are calibrated for 97 miles per hour uh, when you get those big tires as well. Get the red tow hook on the back. Here is the doors off kit. So basically, those are your mirrors that you can put on the vehicle when you have the doors off. Comes in the box like that. Feel free to pause that. You can uh, see the part number if you wanted to order it or whatever. Um, so that's pretty cool. Here's your case for your front hard top pieces. This one also comes standard with the Alpine premium sound system and the uh, hard top insulation kit. Here's another new thing with the uh, Jeep Wrangler for 2024. Uh, normally they had a little piece right here where your electrical and windshield washer fluid could sit in and hold it. Well, they've put that in here now. And I think they did that because I think people were breaking them off. And as you can see right there, uh, there is your windshield washer fluid holder. And that's where you plug in the electrical right there. And then that case can go over, just kind of slides right in and clips in so that those are completely out of the way and they're gonna be out of the way when you're taking the hard top off and putting it back on. Or if you're putting a soft top on here, that stuff's not gonna get in the way. So that is also new for 2024. However, the video that we did to take your hard top off, which is a very popular video, still applies to the Jeep Wrangler, except for that little difference right there. So you can check that out in the upper right hand part of the screen or in the description below. Here is the seven slots on the back gate. You still get the Jeep JL badge with the two door, four door wheelbase and overall length, as well as water fording on there. And uh, also let me know what you think of the new Anvil color. It's a little bit darker. It's a little bit more blue than the Stingray. I know the Stingray was the most popular color that I have seen on any of the Wrangler videos that I've done. It's always been a very popular color for people to watch, comment on, um, and they seem to like it really well. This one does have the blind spot modern heated mirrors, but let me know if you like the color as much as the Stingray or if less. Uh, coming in the back here, there's just not much different back here. As far as the seats go, uh, you get the factory floor mats. Why they didn't put all weather floor mats in the Rubicon X standard, we may never know. Uh, back here you get two USBs, two USB-Cs, 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in. And uh, I do like that the JL, the headrest can go down and these seats go pretty much flat like that. Now, another thing that they did change is for 2024 is the uh, map lights. They used to be in a big center stack right here and uh, you could, had to press them individually. Well, now they have them over the passenger and driver's side rear seats. Also in the front, you get two of them right there. And that has changed. The style of the speakers has changed as well. And I think that has to do with the uh, next new upgrade that they did. And you can see it right there. That is the side curtain airbags. So side curtain airbags, standard for 2024 on the Wranglers. Uh, nice safety upgrade for the Wranglers. And uh, I think that's why they changed the looks and styling of that to accommodate for the uh, new side curtain airbags. Well, here it is. The biggest, newest, exciting change for the 2024 Wrangler, the power driver's seat fully adjustable back forth the front of the seat goes up it goes down the whole back of the seat goes up and then the backrest goes forward and back 
like so. You also have the power lumbar there. Now getting to these seats, it's a really, it's a really firm leather. You can see it doesn't leave hardly any finger imprints when I push it. It's a very stiff leather, but it's very soft to the touch. And uh, I think they made it like that because they have to protect all that electrical stuff if these get wet. I do apologize, this video is going on pretty long, so I'll have to edit it a little bit. You get the red Rubicon stitching. Um, but yeah, big, nice big upgrade. They do have knee bolster airbags or knee airbags or side lower side airbags on these as well. Auto headlamps, what else is new? You get this badge right there with the Wrangler and the Gladiator backed up to each other. Power locks, power mirrors, that is all the same. And the next big upgrade is just a second away. Not the seven inch LCD display because that hasn't changed and there's nothing special in the animation for the Rubicon X package. Still get the digital speedometer, change all that stuff in there. The steering wheel leather is new. Uh, so it's, it's like it, just like the seats, it's a little bit more soft touch leather. Uh, feels really nice and uh, looks really good as well. Adaptive cruise control, regular cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls, and audio controls in the back of the steering wheel. So I think the adaptive cruise control, this is going to become a standard feature on the Wrangler if it isn't already. We're already seeing it on the Grand Cherokee where you cannot order a Grand Cherokee without this feature already installed. And I think that's uh, laws coming down um, for safety regulations that every vehicle is going to have to start having that. So Jeep's already on top of it with the Grand Cherokee, and I think the Wrangler's going to be next to follow that particular law so that they're not behind the eight ball and have to change later. So here's the one of the final big changes with the 2024 Jeep Grand Cher or Jeep Wrangler, I should say, is uh, the 12.3 inch Uconnect 5 radio. This one does have the navigation system. This is the new radio for all of the 2024 Wranglers, whether it's a Sport, Sport S, um, Sahara, Rubicon, Rubicon X, 392, it doesn't matter. You're going to get this size of radio with the Uconnect 5. The only difference is, is if you're going to have nav on it or not have nav. So this one does have nav, um, but that's the big differences. You have your different vehicle options here. So here is your forward-facing camera, which is pretty cool. Dynamic grid lines on there. You get your backup cam. Nothing has changed there. Get the grid lines with the center line so you can get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time every time. And uh, these are all your different apps on here. I'm not going to go through any everything on here, but if you want anything gone through on any of these radios, just let me know in the comments and it uh, gives me great ideas to do my next video. So here are all your other vehicle settings, including off-road pages, which I'll get to in just a second. And then, you know, your other. So the off-road pages, you get your steering angle, sway bar connected, if it's disconnected, front axle locker, rear axle locker, transfer case, accessory gauges, pitch and roll. Everything's the same here as the old off-road pages. You get your latitude, longitude, and altitude on there as well. Um, yeah, the only thing is, if you notice, is that when we click it, it loads right away. It used to take like 5-10 seconds for that to load, but now it loads right away, so that's really great. Uh, the other big change, not really big change, but aesthetically, the vents are underneath the radio now. Instead, they used to have on the 2023s, they had big vents on either side of the 8-inch or 7-inch radio or whatever you had, and uh, they were on the side. Now they're below. I'm not sure if I like that or not. I, they're a little bit different than the circular vents but I, I think they're okay also you get this black piece here which kind of lets it flow nicely into the dash or into the instrument cluster i should say and it kind of is simultaneously it just makes it look really cohesive anyways the other thing different are these front dash panels uh, this is kind of i'm not going to say it's leather but it, it's kind of a gore-tex type material um, it's soft Kind of feels like leather but it's not textured like leather at all and then this part up here changed it used to be just one big storage area now there's two little storage areas and i'm thinking i don't even know what that is it's just a plastic piece i thought maybe it was a speaker but it's not 
and you get this black center stripe there. Anyways, you get the front insulated hardtop pieces. You get a good look at those map lights right there. Those are all the LEDs, of course. SOS and assist buttons, auto dimming mirror, and the home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. You get the Gorilla on the windshield lighting. You know you have that Corning Gorilla glass. Everything down here is exactly the same. Um, front and rear lockers and four-wheel drive system. Keyless entry with the flipper key. Nothing's changed there. And I think that's pretty much everything. I think we hit all of the buttons. Oh, one last thing to note. It's kind of weird on, and I've learned this through a lot of my viewers who have been watching my videos. And if anybody out there knows the answer to this question, you're gonna definitely get a gold star because right now, when you go to select the My Sky or the One Touch, One Sky, Sky One Touch roof on these, you cannot get the One Sky or One Touch Sky roof with the anvil color. You just can't do it. Uh, it tells you to select any of the other colors, and my guess is, is it is a supply and a manufacturing issue where they're not running the My Sky roofs with the anvil paint. That's my guess. Anybody knows it out there why they're not offering the Sky One Touch Power Sun Power Soft Top with the anvil color? Let me know in the comments below, and. Uh, That'll answer a lot of people's questions. But thanks for checking out the video. I'm gonna do one more, I'm gonna do one more walk around here. I'm gonna turn off all the lights in the picture studio. It's completely dark out right now, so you'll get a really good idea of these LED lights doing their job. So uh, one second here. All right, you can see just how bright those lights are. And uh, kudos to Jeep for making them standard across the board, unfortunately the Sport and these Sport S don't get them standard, but look at how bright they are. And it's not completely dark out, it's still a little light out. Anyways, <laughs> uh, but the LED lights, very bright, illuminate a lot in front of you. Great safety feature in addition to those side curtain airbags. Uh, Wranglers are a lot safer for 2024 than they were. LED tail lamps, LED license plate lights, and in addition to the adaptive cruise control, and forward collision warning. And that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Um, like I said, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, scathing rebuttals, uh, leave them in the comments section below and I'll try to address all of them that I can. But anyways, thanks for checking out the video. To see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we gotta go to that website right there, summitauto.com. I've got full pictures, full descriptions on every single vehicle on our lot, all at summitauto.com. And if you like the video, once again, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Personally, it helps me out a lot. Um, take time off on my weekends to do these videos for everybody. Uh, and to see more videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, you'll get up the updates that I do each and every day. Um, in fact, any second you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Jeep Wrangler videos that I've done in the upper right. Once again, almost 500 videos of Wranglers up there, so go check those out. All different trim levels, you name it, it's on there. And uh, a link to how to take your doors off of your JL Wrangler in the lower left, and a link to how to take your hardtop off of your JL Wrangler in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to help you with this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon X in Anvil Gray Clear Coat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.